hello friends today i have brought for you uh, rhyme of the ancient mariner by samuel taylor coleridge rhyme word is here rhyming poem or singing of the ancient mariner here ancient the hindi term prachin purana old and mariner sailor jahaz so this is a poem actually it is a ballad ballad is a narrative poem so it is the whole story in the shape of the poem designed in a 4 4 lines so today you will get acquaintance and the gist of and the story of the rhyme of the ancient mariner the world famous work by shamal taylor coleridge with pranesh misra this is pranesh kumar misra before you to narrate the rhyme of the ancient mariner friends the story starts with a marriage like situation where ancient mariner stopped one of three wedding guests the lines follows like this it is an ancient mariner and he is stopped one of three by the long gray beard and glittering i now wear for stopped to me an ancient mariner meets three gallants a guests bidden to a wedding feast and then detains him they listens the merry din a uh, happy nuptial song <clears throat> and marriage like situation is forcing the guest to go inside the house where kids and kings are gathered but the ancient mariner could influence one of three and he was very much successful in stopping one of the guest and then with his glittering eyes hypnotized he holds and with the influence of his skinny hand and all he set him made him sit on a stone and then hypnotized thus he had no choice to and but to listen and then he began to listen and ancient mariner began to narrate the story he says that his ship with handed crew members started in a nice weather from england and then and they were making merry in the way uh, <clears throat> the ship driven by a storm towards the south pole the land of ice and of fearful sounds where no living thing was to be seen till a great sea bird called a belvetros came through the snow fog and was received with great joy and hospitality a uh, bird called elbetros whose wings are too long and that bird comes over and start hovering on the ship they offered uh, the bird something to eat and thus bird also makes merry and uh, without reason ancient mariner holds his arrow and bow and shot the albatross without reason and this plot was suggested by william wordsworth to his friend st coleridge because when he dreamed this story and said this to his friend william wordsworth then on the basis of the bible he suggested that some crime must be made so that punishment at last can be given so he added this episode in this ballad that elbetros was shot without reason elbetros died and then their hard struggles start i will take it as a sword because ballad is too long once you go through it but if you listen this gist then the ballad will be very easy for you just like a cup of tea so listen carefully then hard times starts the wind blowing there the breeze stops and then the ship tack to an iceberg stop the ship and then the whole area nearby the ship began to rot and they were feeling 
very bad just like Henley's situation narrated in the Bible and the hell was created there, hell fire was also seen there, then rotten sea was there. This type of situation was there and uh, lines written here is water, water everywhere but not a drop to drink. Just mind the line that on the sea where water is everywhere they had not a drop to drink. This type of situation was there. She began to rot nearby the uh, ship and ship was stand still just like a painted ship. The ship was just like a painted ship and then there was no movement, there was no breeze, there was nothing to eat, there was nothing to drink and then one by one they began to die. But the reason of death was one of the skeleton ship where two specters comes and they started playing dice on their lives and then the life and life in death two spirits were there in that skeleton ship that was seen by an ancient mariner and when the ship came near then then life and life and death they began to play the dice pavara on their life or just like you play ludo and dice and you win something like this and then the life could win the life of mariner so he was living and still he was able to narrate the story to wedding guest and then others life was won by the death so one by one they dies and all the members were looking uh, their eyes were open and, and uh, their complaint look was just uh, to the mariner uh, as if they were complaining that due to you we have died and friends, it so happened that uh, Mariner was very much helpless there, everywhere dead bodies are there and seas rotten and all that bad things are there. But there is a formula always negative plus negative is equal to positive. Suddenly he happens to see one creature, one snake with brightly colored skin moving here and there. And when he was moving, the snake was moving, he was making golden line. And a piece of appreciation enters in his mind and when you appreciate anything that appreciation or goodness is directly related to God because every good quality is God. Every good and better thing is God. So when you start praising something then you come near the God and nature automatically. So he was connected to God and in this way it was shown in this ballad that um, force from within pushes the ship and then uh, then angelic body enters in the body of uh, that coarse lying body and then they began to work mechanically as if, as if some spirit had entered and uh, every crew man uh, they began to do adjust the mast and other works as they were doing before but their movement shows that they were not living exactly but some spirits haunted their body and those spirits were doing some work their movement was like this thus the ship anyhow moved from there and before reaching to the England one friar comes there with his shun and then he saves and set mariner, mariner and then the ship sinks this is the gist and short story of the rhyme of the ancient mariner which you will sing and enjoy like this the lines are very interesting okay as i started reading it is an ancient mariner and he stopped one of three by the long gray beard and glittering eyes now where for stops do me the bridegroom's doors are opened white and i am next of kin the guests are met the feast is set mast here the married in he holds him and saint mariner holds him him here wedding guest he holds him with his skinny hand there was a ship the story starts here there was a ship the skinny hand of mariner and he relates the wedding guest with his story quoth he quoth here said said he holds off and hand me gray beard loon o pagal aadmi mujhe chhodo holds off leave me and hand me gray beard loon if stones very soon his hand drops he he holds him with his glittering eye the wedding guest stood still and listens like a three years child hypnotized he was so just 
a three years child follows your command like that he was listening i have restarted it the lines direct lines the wedding guest sat on a stone the wedding guest sat on a stone he cannot choose but he had, he had no choice he wanted to go to join marriage party where kiss and kin were there mary dean shorgul shaadi ke geet and other enjoyment were there but he was forced to sit there and listen and thus spoke and thus spake on that ancient manner the bright tight mariner the ship was cheered and harbor cleared merrily did we drop means he said that uh, when he they started everything was okay below the kirk here yeah, church means kirk below the kirk below the hill where ship started from the harbor below the light house top where the ship always departs from a sun came up upon the left so it shows direction when sun is at the left you can guess the direction and sun is at the uh, right side then you can guess the direction sun is behind or front so mind it the sun came up be uh, upon the left out of the sea came he water water everywhere so it uh, looked as if the sun is coming out of the water and he shone bright and on the right went down into the ship into the ship higher and higher every day till over the mast at noon like that the lines you can enjoy very easy lines are there some archaic words are given here which you can go through with the help of dictionary or google you can find it so when the albatross comes there at length did a cross an albatross through the fog it came an albatross the big bird comes there to them as if it had been a christian soul murder of a christian soul will be there as if it was a christian soul we held we welcomed uh, we held it in god's name and when you okay. held someone with god's name and uh, why to kill that and when you kill or die some type of work and one question is there that why crew members were punished because when the ancient mariner shot the albatross they said that you have done a right perhaps the fog and mist was due to this albatross bird so if you have sort him that you have done good and friends when somebody commits mistake in place of opposing him or her when we support right rightly you have done then we also share his or her sin a little bit that is also the moral here some interesting lines i will read for you once again water water everywhere line number 120 water water everywhere and all the boats did sing water water everywhere no or any drop to drink see the irony that they were on the water but they had not a single piece a drop to drink what was the situation and then the moralistic last lines of this ballad is very interesting see this is the thematic line of this ballad he prayeth best who loved the best all things both great and small for the dear god who loved us he made and loved all so don't kill anything any creature any creature because dear god who has made them he loves them then who are we to kill them so nature the creature and others they are prepared they are mad with the same clay of which we are mad and dear god they have uh, mad them then who we are to take the decision to kill like this you can enjoy the rhyme of the ancient mariner listening me